Now this character lurking in the background there is a western green mamba. I think the most beautiful of the mambas and uh, certainly one of the more dangerous ones. Uh, this one in fact had bit my friend Joe uh, in just the sort of same circumstances we're in right now. Uh, she made a run for the door. He had Midwest gloves on but she uh, she bit right through the glove into his thumb, drew blood, left venom on the surface of the, his skin, but never envenomated him. Luckily, this is if this is definitely an act of God sort of thing. So what I'm trying to do now is uh, ascertain whether she can be, you know, friendly at all and maybe if handled a little differently she's not so volatile here you go hey you want some water oh look at that that's nice huh that's nice oh that's really nice huh you like that huh yeah see well come on over here I'll give you more it's really uh it's no fun for me to stick my arm back there. Come on, you're okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good mamba. Here we go. Here we go. Here. Here. Yeah, oh, that's sweet. Here you go. Ah, oh, that's a sweetie. Now, of course, this is a mamba, and all bets are off. I could be screaming, you son of a gun, you, you bit me at any time. But uh, my opinion is, if you don't do anything to alarm them, uh... Maybe uh, they realize that, hey, if this guy isn't threatening me, I shouldn't be threatening him. Or on the other hand, look at this stupid idiot putting his hand this close to my head, about probably six inches. Uh, I think after I take a nice drink here, I'll bite him. Okay. See, that's not so bad. Huh? Where the hell did you go? There you are. See, that's not so bad. Oh, yeah, that's good, huh? Was that tasty? Yeah, you bet. You bet. She is a gorgeous snake, and uh, hopefully she's going to make some babies. Uh, She's going to a zoo that has had a male for a long time, but like I said, these are rather rare to come by. Subsequently, uh, this male hasn't had the opportunity to breed, but hopefully uh, we'll give him one. Okay, girl? Was that, was that okay, huh? All right. Eastern Green Mamba Cam. Uh, sorry, not Eastern. Western Green Mamba Cam. I was concentrating more on the uh, on the snake than what I was saying. Here she is. The Western Greens are really known for their large scales that are uh, bordered in black, uh, making them an exceptionally a uh, beautiful snake and these don't figure in too many bites in the wild because these guys hang out in trees and uh, treetops and are generally gone the first uh, sign of uh, man uh, that comes along but uh, look at this beautiful scales on her 
Um, look at those. I mean, this is a class act. This is like uh, super cool uh, mamba. I love this snake. This snake has coolest scalation. And I'm letting the pointy end go the other direction for a change. This is a... Uh, this is a very neat snake and she just had a nice drink and uh, now is uh, thinking about uh, exploring a bit because I guess I don't seem all that scary to her. There she is behind glass. Yeah, okay. You're okay. Now the plan is if for some reason she starts to cruise out the, the door that's open here is I'm just going to let her go. Uh, I'm going to get the hell out of the way as uh, quickly as I can and just let her uh, fly around the room uh, and then I'll figure out how to deal with her. But uh, she seems to be going the other way now, uh, which is always a good thing. But we've made our first uh, baby steps in uh, understanding each other tonight. Uh, I don't see the pointy end. And uh, that was by offering her... Oh, I see the pointy end. It's right there. Hello, pointy end. Yeah, the first step was to let her know that, Hey, look, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just here to, uh, to take care of you. Right, girly? Okay. Why don't you uh, relax and uh, tomorrow we'll think about giving you something to eat. How's that? Huh? All right. See, these mambas are very curious animals. Ooh. More Western Green Mamba Cam. Look at that. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll uh, give you something to eat tomorrow. And Mr. Black is uh, hanging out nearby. There's Mr. Black's pointy end. Oop, we got some nasty ass reflections here. There, that bright spot right in the center of the screen, that's his nose. He's looking for a feed too, but uh, uh, he's been eating real well, so we're going to take care of our, uh, our friend here, the Western Green, first off. Ah, darn, it's not locked. i got to lock the lock. Now, what uh, lethal critter do we have here? Someone was asking if I had other bothrops, and it so happens I do. And this one I can actually show you. I've got some others that uh, I can't show anybody right now, but uh, uh, they're very, very interesting. This is the Arutu, Bothrops Alternatus. And whoa, are these hot. And this is just a small one, but it would be a world of trouble uh, to get on the uh, pointy end of this uh, rather short-tempered snake. Now, you can see the, the hyper-respiration. Mm, that's not, uh, uh, it's not excited to see you uh, in a very favorable way. It's saying, oh my God, what's this thing? Could it be? Oh no, it's Bothrop's Alternatus Cam. Um, I thought I saw a little tongue wag. Talk about, uh, whoa, that is a little tongue wag. He is pissed off. See, didn't I tell you these guys were rather short-tempered? Short-tempered, long fangs, toxic venom, very bad. Very, very bad. Okay, well, he's, uh, or she is a little hyper right now, so uh, we'll back off and give him some space. Uh, more on this animal another day. Well, well, well. 
Uh, Miss Night Adder here, and yes, that does look like a miss. Here, let's uh, take a, a good look at it. Look at that, yep, that's a miss. Um, it was real funny. She was quiet for the past week or so because she was getting ready to shed. And I figured today was uh, another good day to... Uh, ah, you are a vicious little girl. Um, it was a good day to uh, uh, water her down a little bit and see if she would shed out okay. And uh, she most uh, certainly did. All right, come on. Yes, I know I'm pesty. What can I say? But, look at that, huh? These are funny snakes. They, you know, they remind me so much of hognose snakes. It's not funny. Oh, yeah. Take a good swing at that. Yeah. There's that finger. Can you get that finger, huh? You got a little bit of a nose rub, huh? Oh, let's let's go for it. Let's do rhombic night adder cam. Ah, my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. So, um, I guess that means you want to eat now. Hmm? I'll see what I can uh, come up with. Now this is something that you don't often see. This is uh, Gabby having a hissy fit. Do you know why she's having a hissy fit? Because she wants to come out and I won't let her come out and play and have a stroll because I've got things to do and there's a lot in the room. So she's having a hissy fit. And it's not unheard of for her to go thrashing around the cage to make her point clear. She does this every time that she wants to come out and I don't let her. She just uh, sits there, huffs and puffs, raises her head up and will sometimes thrash about. So I'm busy uh, watering Spot right at the moment so we'll just uh, watch Spot drink again because Spot is sort of a cool snake, uh, likes to drink.